Hello, this is Yoshi Pilot, and today I'm going to walk you through how to transfer Pokemon from a real Game Boy Pokemon cartridge to Pokemon Home using a flash cart like an EverDrive or an Easy Flash. Normally, this process requires a ROM dumper like the GB01 or the Game Boy Operator. However, it's possible that you don't have one of those, but you do have an EverDrive or an Easy Flash, and there actually is a way to transfer Pokemon onto Pokemon Home using just an EverDrive. In order for this to work, you're going to need a Pokemon game, a flash cart, two devices capable of playing Game Boy games, which has a link cable, could be any one of these, a link cable, a way to transfer files to and from an SD card, a homebrewed 3DS, and a Nintendo Switch. The first thing we're going to want to do is to start up a save file on your flash cart, and then just start the game and progress until you can catch Pokemon. From there, simply catch six Pokemon, as these are going to be the Pokemon you're going to trade. Then, go to a Pokemon Center, connect the two devices, and start trading. You're going to want to trade all the Pokemon you want to transfer to Pokemon Home. This might take a while. Once you got that, save, take the SD card out of your flash cart, plug it into the computer, and copy over the save file onto the computer. From here it's probably a good idea to test your save file in an emulator and make sure it works. Now that you know it works, the next step is going to be to convert your save file into a format that the 3DS can read. Just go to this website and convert your save file. Now on your 3DS, open up the same Pokemon game you've been using and create a save file. Next, open up the Homebrew Utility Checkpoint and create a backup of that save file. Now, take the SD card out of your 3DS, go to the Saves folder in the Checkpoint folder, find the correct Pokemon game, then replace that save.dat with the save.dat you made from the conversion. Put the SD card back in your 3DS, Open up Checkpoint, and restore the save file. Then, go back to that Pokemon game, and make sure that all your Pokemon are there. Now it's time for the easy part. Open up Poke Transporter and transfer all those Pokemon like normal. Once they're in Pokemon Bank, you're basically done. It's an easy process to transfer them into Pokemon Home, and once you do that, you will now have transferred Pokemon all the way from an original Game Boy cartridge to the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty amazing. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and have a great day.